So what exactly is the future of California's high-speed rail network? This ambitious project promises to revolutionize transportation, supercharge the economy, create thousands of jobs, and dramatically reduce carbon emissions. The potential impacts on daily life are immense. Imagine being whisked from LA to San Francisco in under three hours. It would be a total game changer. Let's explore the latest jaw-dropping developments that are bringing this vision to life. As we race towards this revolutionary future, you might wonder, just how close are we to boarding that first high-speed train? The progress made in the heart of California tells a surprising story. With hundreds of miles already cleared and construction well underway, the landscape of the Golden State is transforming before our eyes. The California High-Speed Rail Project has made significant strides, particularly in the Central Valley. As of spring 2024, an impressive 171 miles of the initial segment from Fresno to Bakersfield are actively under construction. This isn't just about laying tracks, it's about building the future of transportation from the ground up. Across the three active construction segments, 17 structures have been completed, showcasing the tangible progress being made. But that's not all. 98% of the necessary parcels have been delivered to the design builder, a clear indicator that right-of-way planning and management are well on track. While earlier projections aimed for Central Valley construction to be completed by 2028, the California High-Speed Rail Authority now anticipates passenger rail service could begin between 2030 and 2033. It's a testament to the scale and complexity of this ambitious project. Key cities are at the heart of this transformation. Merced, Fresno, Hanford, and Bakersfield are set to become hubs of this high-speed network. Station designs for these four Central Valley locations are already underway, with a focus on seamlessly integrating into their communities. These aren't just transit points, they're catalysts for local development and economic growth. One of the most impressive projects currently in progress is the Hanford Viaduct. This mammoth structure will not only carry high-speed trains, but also serve as the future King's Tulare Station. It's a prime example of the project's dual focus on infrastructure and community integration. The station designs themselves are a collaborative effort. Local feedback is being actively incorporated to ensure these hubs transform both transit and retail landscapes. Imagine stepping off a high-speed train and into a vibrant community space. That's the vision being brought to life. Environmental considerations are also at the forefront. A significant 56% of the environmental reviews for the Southern California section have been completed. This crucial step paves the way for further advancements and demonstrates the project's commitment to responsible development. Looking ahead, 2024 marks a pivotal moment in the project's timeline. Design and procurement for critical infrastructure components, including track and overhead contact systems, are set to begin. These elements are the backbone of the high-speed rail system, bringing us one step closer to the reality of lightning-fast train travel across California. While the tracks are being laid, another race is underway behind the scenes. Two industry giants, Alstom and Siemens, are vying to build the trains that will streak across California's landscape. But what cutting-edge features will these high-speed behemoths boast and how will they transform the passenger experience? The California High-Speed Rail Authority is taking a giant leap forward in procuring six electric train sets designed to reach speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. This isn't just about buying trains, it's about ushering in a new era of American rail travel. With Alstom Transportation and Siemens Mobility shortlisted as potential suppliers, the project is tapping into world-class expertise to bring this vision to life. Imagine stepping onto a train that's not just fast, but a marvel of modern engineering. These trains are set to redefine comfort and efficiency, with designs incorporating multiple seating options including comfort and economy classes. But it's not all about speed and luxury, the authority is also focusing on practicality, with plans for a cafe car and bike storage to enhance the overall passenger experience. The first two train sets are expected to arrive in 2028, marking the beginning of a rigorous testing and trial phase. This timeline aligns with the project's broader goals, setting the stage for a transportation revolution that could reshape how Californians travel. 
But the innovation doesn't stop at the trains themselves. The entire project is a hotbed of technological advancement. The authority has kicked off the design procurement for the track and overhead contact systems necessary to electrify these speedy trains. This marks a crucial milestone in the project's progression, laying the groundwork for a fully electrified high-speed rail network. One of the most exciting aspects of this project is how it's leveraging cutting-edge technology to engage with communities. The use of three-dimensional models and renderings is revolutionizing the way the authority interacts with community organizations. These tools aren't just for show. They're helping maximize local benefits by allowing stakeholders to visualize and provide input on station designs and infrastructure projects before they're built. Speaking of infrastructure, the project is pushing the boundaries of engineering with structures like the Hanford Viaduct. Stretching over a mile long, this massive structure is a testament to the scale and ambition of the high-speed rail project. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about creating landmarks that will define California's landscape for generations to come. The use of advanced construction techniques is also accelerating the project's progress. Precast girder installation, for example, is enhancing both the efficiency and quality of construction. This method allows for faster assembly and ensures consistency across the entire network, crucial for a system where precision is paramount. As we look to the future, 2024 stands out as a pivotal year. The project is set to begin work on track and systems following the completion of significant infrastructure. This phase will bring together all the technological advancements from the trains themselves to the electrification systems that will power them. As the physical infrastructure takes form, an invisible network of opportunity is spreading across California. What does the future hold for old farm worker housing and how could a train line breathe new life into struggling communities? The high-speed rail project is rewriting more than just travel times, it's redefining the economic landscape of the Golden State. The California high-speed rail project isn't just about connecting cities, it's about transforming lives and revitalizing communities. With over 13,000 jobs expected to be created, this ambitious undertaking is set to become a major economic driver for the state. These aren't just temporary positions, they represent long-term opportunities that will shape the future of California's workforce. One of the most exciting developments is the recent RAISE Federal Grant, which will support redevelopment efforts in Kern County. This injection of federal funds is more than just a financial boost. It's a vote of confidence in the project's potential to spark widespread economic growth. The grant will help breathe new life into the region, supporting initiatives that go far beyond the rail lines themselves. A particularly innovative aspect of this redevelopment is the plan to repurpose old farm worker housing. This initiative showcases the project's commitment to community renewal, turning neglected structures into valuable assets. It's a perfect example of how the high-speed rail project is weaving itself into the fabric of local communities, addressing long-standing issues while paving the way for future growth. The economic impact of the high-speed rail extends far beyond construction jobs and housing redevelopment. By enhancing access to businesses, educational institutions, and medical centers, the project aims to spur economic development across the entire region. Imagine the possibilities when entrepreneurs can easily commute between major cities, or when students have greater access to educational opportunities across the state. Looking ahead, the California High Speed Rail Authority has outlined a business model for interim service in the Merced to Bakersfield corridor. This strategic approach isn't just about getting trains running, it's about fostering economic activity in a region that's poised for growth. The authority recognizes that each station has the potential to become a hub of activity, integrating transit, retail, and neighborhoods in ways that will reshape local economies. While the full network may still be years away, the benefits are already beginning to materialize. The ongoing construction is providing immediate economic stimulus, while the promise of future high-speed connections is encouraging businesses to invest in the region. Daily commuters, too, stand to gain from these developments with improved transit options, potentially transforming their work-life balance. As we look to the future, the anticipated completion dates suggest that passenger rail service could begin between 2030 and 2033. 
While this might seem distant, the economic ripples are already being felt. Communities along the route are preparing for a future where high-speed rail will be a central part of their identity and economy. The California High Speed Rail Project is more than just a transportation initiative, it's a comprehensive plan for economic revitalization. From job creation to community redevelopment, from improved access to education to new business opportunities, the impacts of this project will be felt for generations to come. As we look to the horizon, California's High Speed Rail Project continues to gain momentum. With 171 miles under active construction and key milestones achieved, the vision of a revolutionary transportation network is inching closer to reality. The project has secured $17 billion in funding, including a record $3.1 billion from the federal government, signaling strong support for this transformative initiative. Looking ahead, passenger service is anticipated between 2030 and 2033, promising to reshape how Californians travel and connect. While challenges remain, particularly in funding and timelines, the potential benefits are immense. From creating jobs to reducing carbon emissions, this project represents more than just a rail line. It's a path to a more connected, sustainable future. As we track the progress of this ambitious undertaking, one thing is clear. California's high-speed rail is set to redefine transportation for generations to come. Thanks for watching. If you found this dive into California's high-speed rail project interesting, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more updates on groundbreaking infrastructure projects and future technology. Let me know in the comments what you think about this ambitious project. Will it revolutionize transportation in the U.S.? Stay tuned for more videos and as always, thanks for your support.